it's not a profound um, thought on my part, but science is, um, is portrayed as a collaborative venture, right? And in most cases it is, in, including in yours. You, yeah. you just said that. Well, and yet a prize, by its very definition, has to, seldom picks a whole group. It, it's a handful of individuals, which is sort of counter to way, you know, the, science in a general sense is looked at. You know, kind of denies the idea that this was a collaboration. Now, of course, it was profoundly a collaboration between you and Harold, but you know, you've just said that there were other people who definitely contributed yeah. to the discovery. I don't think it, it's not the collaborative nature of science that uh, can be misrepresented by something like a prize, it's the cumulative nature. And we, you know, we all stand on the shoulders of right. previous people and of giants, if, <laughs> in the legend words of Newton. Um, that, that's what I mean. But there are these singular discoveries that stand out, and uh, um, uh, and I think most of the time when science, I just saw this again in. The Times yesterday, New York Times yesterday, actually, and it's what I said in my book about uh, do, do these things have any value at all, uh, cultural value, you know? and uh, the, the fact that the p public pays so much attention to the Nobel Prize, for example, uh, means that for a brief moment every year, science is front and center in the news, and people are in some way or another thinking about, oh, why is this important? Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think there's value in that. Uh, and it's true, I f the, the Lasker Award. Um, uh, uh, I also f have heard others and I as well ex uh, justify singling out particular discoveries because it is one of the few ways, it's the sort of thing the public can identify with. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry about Understanding the details of science. Yeah. Here's um, uh, so I think that's if there's cultural value to it, that's it. That's that's mm -hmm. the principal one. Mm 